Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Uh, watch the video till the end. And also, if you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon. Friends, today we're going to learn a concept which is known as capital gain yield formula. Now, what exactly this is? Let's let's get into the same. The capital yield yield formula is P one minus P zero divided by P zero. So we have couple of uh, uh, notations over here, but we need to understand the formula. See. at the very first and what is this formula all about see we use this capital and write for you capital gain yield formula this formula when we want to know how much return uh we will get how much return will get only on the basis of the appreciation or depreciation of the stock see here the formula for the capital gain yield the capital gain yield formula is equal to your p1 minus your p0 divided by p0 this is going to be your formula over here you if you see the p0 is the price of the stock when we invested into it and p1 over here is the price of the stock after the first period so the capital gain yield is basically it's the return sort of you let's understand with the help of an example let's take a practical example to illustrate how can we how we can do the capital gain yield calculation so basically it's percentage let's say ishita there's a girl called ishita lady wants to see how much she has earned on a particular stock only on the basis of the capital appreciation capital appreciation now uh, she has seen that uh, when she had bought the stock the price was uh, standing at let's say at 105 and now after 2 years the price of the stock has appreciate appreciated to let's let's say this is price p1 and this is price p0 the price p1 has turned out to be 120 dollar per share so what is the capital yield on the particular stock If we can see that we have all the information of the capital gain yield calculation all we need to do is just to put in the data into the formula for the capital gain yield so our capital gain yield formula is going to be p1 minus p0 divided by p0 so let's put down the numbers 120 minus 105 divided by 10 One zero five. That's P zero. So in a way, we get fifteen divided by one zero five is four fourteen point two nine percentage in terms of percentage. So this means that by using this formula, we understand that Ishita has got a fourteen point two nine percent capital gains after two years of investments. Now, if the company offers, let's say, dividend. let's say if the company offers dividend we can also calculate the dividend yield and find out the total return on the investments let's understand the explanation part of this particular formula see capital gain yield formula is used to find out whether the investor whether the investor would get any sort of return on the stock any sort of return on the stock price so the formula of the capital gain uses the rate of change as you can see p1 minus p0 formula the rate of the change formula which is always used to find out the return on the investment now in this case we'll look at the beginning of the stock that is the beginning uh stock price that is p0 and uh, the stock price and the stock price at the end of the period so basically the difference and then we'll find out the percentage of the difference on the basis of the beginning stock price that is we are dividing the beginning stock price the capital gain yield formula again it's 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 if you don't want to go for this one as a cgy then you can also use something like this cgy can be written as your p1 divided by p0 now this whole thing will be in terms of bracket and you need to deduct Minus one, so the whole thing minus one. Once you get the answer, so you can say that one twenty 
divide by 105 whatever answer you receive you will do minus 1 so let's do it so that we have the idea how this exactly will go about so 120 divided by 105 now this thing minus 1 14.29 percent right so this is the another way by which you can calculate we can derive this formula from the first formula itself the first formula is p1 minus uh, p0 divided by p0 or the capital gain you can say that uh, p1 divide by your p0 right you need to deduct from this less p0 divide by p0 or capital gains can be written as this is another expansion from that or finally it can be written as p1 divided by p0 p1 divided by p0 less 1 which is as simple as that now what is exactly the use of this particular formula see for every investor the capital gain for every investor the capital gain is the important measure see many companies don't uh, pay dividends and in, in, in that case the investor can only get the capital gain yield basically as the return as the return on investments now since the capital gain yield can be positive as well as negative it affects the total return of the investor which they get like for example let's say there's a, this guy called mr a mr a uh, and he gets a total return of let's say 25 percent on the stock now it can be the result of the negative uh, negative capital yield of uh, minus five percent uh, and and dividend yield and dividend yield standing at let's say 30 percent right so here's what we consider while calculating the total return is the the capital gain and the second thing that we consider is the dividend yield right we already know the capital gain yield calculation now to calculate the dividend yield is equal to your annual dividend divided by your price of the share now this is your calculator for your uh, capital gain yield formula let's say we'll put some of the datas over here and we'll understand let's say the p1 price is uh, 150 and your p0 price is uh, uh, let's say 100 so we all know the return is going to be 50 percent right so our previous price let's say is remaining the same as the number goes down your your data your the, your yield will go down and as the number will move up your yield will move up so we can say that keeping the p0 as constant if your p1 if this increases then your ratio that is the yield you can say not the ratio we can say the yield also increases but keeping this as again constant if this portion that is the p1 that is the price at the end of the year if this decreases then the yield basically sorry yeah if, if the if the price decreases then the yield also decreases so basically you can say there is a direct relationship between the p1 that is the price of the share and the yield as a percentage so that's it uh, for this particular topic if you have learned and enjoyed watching this video please like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates thank you everyone cheers